Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, guys, today I'm going to solve question number six. AP calculus past paper 2018, right? And the question I have already mentioned here, right? So I will save the time and I will explain you everything. So the question here is uh, the question is what is the sum of the series pi by e minus pi by e squared plus pi by e cube minus pi by e power 4 plus 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 dot dot dash minus 1 in power n pi by e power n plus dot dot dash infinite there are four options a, B, C, and D. Which one is correct? I don't know. First, I will solve, and after then, I will find out which answer is correct. Right? Okay, guys. So first of all, I want to tell you what type of series it is. Okay? So I'm going to solve question here. As you can see, we have pi over e. Okay? The first term is positive. The second term is what negative. Then again, we have what pi by e square. This is minus. The next is pi, and this is uh, the next is positive. Here is pi, then e power 3, then again you can say minus, this is positive, next minus, pi by e power 4, and that, 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 dash, right? One more thing, so if you see, I'm going to write down minus 1 power n plus 1, okay? What is n? n is the number of terms, right? So, for example, if, if you discuss about the first one, right? See here, what is the meaning of? minus 1 n plus 1 if you see this one right this is your first term so i will just put n is equal to 1 here so 1 plus 1 2 so minus 1 power 2 this is always positive right so here this term is positive for example i want to know what is the nature of the second term it is positive or negative okay so we have pi by e square right this is the second term if you put n is equal to 2 to 2 plus 1 which is 3 so minus 1 power 3 right if the power is the odd number then the nature is always negative so if you see here 3 so this will be always negative so minus 1 n plus 1 will give you the nature of the terms okay means the terms is positive or negative right and then uh, here is pi here is pi here is pi here is pi so I'm going to write down a pi which is common right so I have mentioned here pi divided by here see this is e e power 1 e power 2 e power 3 e power 4 so i'm going to take this is what e power n okay so you can just consider if n is equal to 1 you have this term is this is n is equal to 2 you have this term n is equal to 3 this term 4 terms so on and this is just continue okay this is what infinite series and as you can see we have to find the sum of this one means what is the sum the question here what is the sum right the question is what is the sum so there is a one formula here if the series is infinity the formula is a divided by 1 minus r this is very important and so easy right so a is your the first term what is a is the first term 1 minus r r is the common ratio and how will you find the common ratio it's a very simple means this one divided by this one okay and one more thing then you are going to divide this one so this series exists if the value of the r is greater than minus one but less than one if the value of the r is between minus one to one then the series exists right then we can find out the sum what will be the sum of these quotients so here this is a very important condition the value of the r must be from minus one to one okay so i'm going to tell you how to find r so let's solve the question so r means you can find how do you know means uh, that this one this one this one this one so if you see if you just divide this by this one right or this by this one or this by this one you will find the same common ratio for example and this is the first term second term third term fourth term i'm going to write down for example if we have t2 so divided by t1 so for example if you have t2 so t2 is what minus pi by minus pi by e square right and what is t1 
pi by e. So if you solve this one, you will find uh, uh, I'm going to solve here. So minus pi by e square. This is multiplication, so uh, e is up and pi is down. So this is cancel. You have minus one by e. Okay. So you can say t two by t one is minus one by e. If you check again, for example, you said I'm going to take the third term, right? So if this is t3, then you have to divide by t2. Okay, let's check. So we have what pi by e cube, right? And then divided by minus pi by e square. So when you solve pi by e cube, and this is up, right? So minus e square divided by pi. Pi pi cancel, e square e square cancel again minus one by e. And you can say this is called r common ratio right this is called r so the value of the r is minus 1 by e and you know the value of e is a rational number which value is 2.71 right so if you are going to 2.71823 something like this it's not ended right so it's a irrational number so if you say minus 1 by e is always from minus 1 to 1 so because uh, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 something like this so minus 1 by e is always minus 1 to 1 it means the series the sum of the series exists here right so i know the value of the r and e is the first term which is in this one this is your a right so when we know a and we know r right so <coughs> okay so a is what pi by e and uh, this is 1 minus what is the value of r? So the value of the r is here, minus 1 by e. So minus 1 by e, right? So you can say pi by e divided by 1 minus 1 is plus 1 by e. So you can say pi by e and then this is multiplications. So when the division has been converted into multiplications, the, uh, the denominator change. Means if the denominator is in the form of the fraction, then it will be changed. A reciprocal so you can say it will be uh, e is up and then you take the LCM so this is e plus 1 right so e, e cancel you have pi by e plus 1 this is the sum of the given series right so the answer B is correct okay so I hope guys you all understand if you have a problem just write down the comment whenever we have a time I will discuss it with you. Take care. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum.